The ranger paused in fear, for all knew that the bite of the bite was...
Perhaps it is that your youthful bodies are more resistant than others. Likely, this is why Ominent was experimenting on children to begin with. Which means... Did Schmechter find a cure? Damn! As much as I loathe the man, I must admit that Schmechter is brilliant in his own way, though his methods can be quite distasteful. We cannot rule out the possibility that he has done it. Could that mean there is hope for me? When the raisining became too much, I realized I had to find a cure before it was too late. I hid here, away from the eyes. So many prying eyes. Ominent has always wanted to steal my work. They would never admit its worth and greatness, and yet they would always take it. Especially Schmechter. I have made many mistakes in my life. Countless, really. But one that I will never make again is to allow my discoveries to fall into the hands of that corporation. If I must die for it, so be it. Home. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Home. Your parents must be worried. So the process is not difficult. You will simply need to brew an embiggening cocktail at the Javamatic machine. The embiggening process is extremely taxing on living subjects. You'll need enough nutrients and proteins to survive the expansion to your original size. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of overexpansion. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to overexpansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. To counter this, sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Grilled science. Grilled science! Raw science represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by Burgle's spatula, and emerges as something greater, plump and juicy. Grilled science. It reminds me of the barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy, Sarah, Thor. The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There we can blend the embiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close. Right, but imagine it's a fruit pounder. Bravo, bravo. So the lab rats have finally reached the end of the maze. And not alone, I see. Pulling the strings from behind the scenes as always, Dalton. You gutless coward! 
Why don't you meet us here? Face to face? Poor, poor Wendell. Lost your job, Trudy's left you, took the kids too, left you with nothing but your work. At least I'm not experimenting on children! Oh, but isn't that just what you've been doing? Hiding in your little garden and using these children to fight your battles for you because you never fight them yourself? You were pathetic before I fired you. Look at you now. You're nothing. Just a shriveled, sad raisin. Well, it was nothing personal. If anything, it was your friend Wendell's fault. You see, this is the pattern with Wendell's little projects. Start with a dubious concept with few prospects for commercial success. Miss all deadlines. Go over budget with nothing to show for it. So the rest of Ominent must make up for his failures. Figure out a way to salvage the unsalvageable. But as it turns out, this one time, Wendell was on to something. Not that he could ever see it in his myopia. And then where was I? Ah, yes. Thankfully, in the process, we discovered more lucrative applications. Assuming the raisining can be eliminated. Shrinking inanimate objects will change the world, no doubt. The shipping industry alone will never be the same. That was the extent of Wendell's imagination. But people, the governments of the world will bankrupt each other for a mere taste of this technology. Despite what my former colleague might have told you, it was certainly not by choice. I hypothesized that adolescents would be resistant to the effects of reasoning. The young have incredibly strong immune systems, after all. Couple that with the intense hormonal growth, and I was pleased to learn that you are not only resistant, but immune to said syndrome. Once that connection was made, what choice did I have? So you did find a cure, because of the children you abducted. Of course. I'm not a failure like you, Wendell. Yes, I abducted those children. I admit it freely. Not that anyone will ever know. Obviously, I can't allow any of you to leave this facility alive. Oh, come now. Although I won't mind the fame, the power, the respect for Director Dalton Schmechter. But in the end, my little rat, yes, it is always about the money. No one will sponsor your spirit of invention without raw profit. A simple elementary concept. Something you never understood, Tully, with your idealism and your raw science. You're a dis... Race to the profession, Dalton! And you are a deluded fool! Ha, ha, ha. The hypothesis was developed. The experiments were conducted. The results have been analyzed. Schmexer, you son of a... The conclusion concluded. All that remains is to take out the trash. Farewell, my little rats. Stay right there and this will all be over before you know it. Oh, please. What? No. Come on.
future is Yeah! 
yourself! Large insect incoming! <laughs> I think we've done it! Though the situation did seem rather precarious for a moment there. Ugh. Wonderful work, though. You would make an excellent lab assistant when you're a little older, of course. Now, we just need to grab the embiggening cell before the orcs return. How do you like that, Director Spectre? Excellent. Cell integrity appears nominal. You might be the best assistant I've ever had, but don't tell Burgos that. He's just looking for an excuse to use that grilling function. Anyway, back to the spacer. Maybe we can get you home before dinner. say this, but it's time to go home. For all of us to go home. For the first time in a long while, I have a good feeling about the future, and it's all because of you. We'd better get you back to your families. I suspect they're worried sick about you. Perhaps they are worried about me still. But I know that I put them through a lot. I only hope that they know how much I love them. But there's no sense in being so glum. I haven't quite yet reached the end of my road. Though there may not be much track left to lay. 
Now look, all this sad talk has me mixing my metaphors. Don't worry about me. Whatever will be, will be. Thank you for everything that you've done. I'll never forget it. Ergles here. After our call, would you be interested in taking a short survey on the quality of my service today? For the last time, Virgil, no! I do not want any more of these confounded follow-up surveys. The answer is adequate. Always adequate. Adequate? Now, listen to me. This is your manager speaking. We are about to fire up the spacer. I need you to keep an eye on the raw science convergence coupling. The last thing we need is an overload spike. Are leaving. Have you been dissatisfied with my service? Don't worry. I'll come back for you when things calm down in the real world. But it may be a while. <laughs> Affirmative, Dr. Kelly. I will stay behind. Again. But I need you to keep an eye on things down here while I'm gone. Regional Science Manager Burgle. Virgil, this is a big responsibility. In recognition of your work ethic and commitment to outstanding customer service. Really? My circuits are sizzling, Dr. Tully. Have no fear. Regional Manager of Virgil will not let you down. That's Regional Manager Virgil. Thank you very much. Indeed it is. This is it, my young friend. When you get home, do me a favor. Don't grow up too fast, will you? <clears throat> okay then. Would you do the honors of flipping the switch? For science! <laughs> And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Omni. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of Director Dalton Schmechter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot, if you didn't tell him. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together.